Hello people, we are back, and this time we're talking about Mario Kart 8. Nintendo had his Nintendo Direct today, uh, offering up a lot of details. This was a different video for Nintendo, when they normally Nintendo Directs are kind of like straightforward. This one was kind of almost infomercial-like. There was a lot of little comedy bits in it. Uh, there, the, some were cool, some weren't, like, like you know, bad, like Mario Kart memories, like running into the post and not moving, or, or something like that. Um, they also had an interesting thing, because this was a... Uh, like an infomercial, they showed, they went through the history of Mario Kart from the very first game up to the last, you know, obviously the games that were, came out of Mario Kart before, uh, and Mario Kart 8 looks beautiful. It's a really awesome looking game. Uh, there was a lot they actually did in this Nintendo Direct. First they had uh, people, obviously the person who worked on it, talking about anti-gravity, because that's a new thing in this game. They talked about, you know, they had done, you know, all this other stuff. The only thing they left was underground or, you know, obviously up anti-gravity. Uh, not saying they didn't do underground. You never know, but anti-gravity is a new thing. Now, anti-gravity works a little differently than you expect. Obviously, when you get the anti-gravity thing, uh, you turn blue underneath. And in this case, with anti-gravity, the more you bump in to certain objects and people, the more you power it up, kind of in a sense, to get more... So it's the case, it's not the opposite of avoiding people. It's the opposite when you have anti gravity. Or two players who are anti gravity continually bumping each other, and actually power each other up in a sense. Uh, they did unveil uh, a couple new power ups for this game, which again is surprising because traditionally they don't have more. Excuse me, more than one. Uh, they unveiled the boomerang uh, power up, which you can, you'll have you'll be able to throw three times instead of like one. Uh, the piranha plant, which they've kind of already teased. Which you can put in the front, you know, and you know, bite other players or something that comes at you. And the new one was the a super horn. Now the super horn kind of breaks some of the traditional rules of Mario Kart. You knew when someone threw a blue shell, spiky shell, whatever you want to call it, that if you're in first place, you get hit by it, you were done. In this game, the super horn can actually just take out any shell coming towards you, including the blue shell. So if you're in first place, you get a super horn, you'll be able to stop that from actually taking you out. Again, I guess kind of getting rid of what some people call the cheap thing of the game, the blue shell. But if you're not in first place, the blue shell is always a lifesaver. Uh, they did unveil new characters. All the all the Kooplings are in the game now. Uh, they unveiled Baby Rose, Rose, Rosalita, and the last one was the second uh, metal character in, in the series. Uh, was it pink? Was it pink gold peach? So you got another new metal character in, now in the series. So. A lot of new stuff in Mario Kart 8, actually. It's not just some, like, here's another Mario Kart game, which is a, a little bit of new. This is, like, a lot of new things. Um, looking at the levels from the Nintendo Direct, they're a lot highly detailed. Like, they actually have a an announcement-style thing of showing an entire race in Mario Kart Stadium on Mario Kart 8. It looks beautiful. The detail and the reimagining of the world, look or the racetrack, looks amazing. Bowser's Castle, when they, at the very end, they have, like, a three-minute trailer. So the Bowser Castle and stuff, it is amazing. Uh, the trail at the very end, it may not be three minutes, but they show a lot of levels. Uh, they actually did this thing, and again, Nintendo went out of its way to do a lot of, this was like a, almost like a 30 minute video, over a 30 minute video. And they showed like the car versus the motorcycle, and how they tried really hard to balance them so that one didn't have the advantage over the other. They showed like the Moo Moo uh, track, which is this new one, where basically the, the motorcycle is faster than the car, but the next track, the car is faster than the motorcycle. So uh, they did a lot of balancing with it. So this new game, and then, of course, the biggest announcement was at the end. Uh, two things Nintendo did. Number one, uh, if you buy Mario Kart 8 and you register on Club Nintendo, you get a you get a code to download a free game. Uh, either New Super Mario Brothers, you, uh, we party you. Uh, it's four games total that you can download. Uh, all Nintendo games, Pikmin 3. And so... You know, uh, kind of in a sense, you get another game for buying a game. And then lastly, they announced, of course, the, uh, not necessarily surprised anybody, it only made sense, the uh, Mario Kart Wii U bundle that will be coming out, well, estimate, estimated retail price of $339. I still think they need to lower the price of the system, but uh, it comes with Mario Kart 8, obviously the Wii system, Wii U system, and a red steering wheel, and the Mario uh, Wii Motion Plus controller. So that bundle, again, if you're going to get Mario Kart and you weren't going to get a Wii U, obviously you'd probably get the bundle. So, again, it was a lot of information in this uh, Nintendo Direct, a lot of cool new details about Mario Kart 8. It looks beautiful if you haven't seen it. 
Uh, go check it out. There's a lot of beautiful dough. The other thing is the online. They made some changes to the online uh, this year. First of all, obviously, you have the usual online component where you have four different ways to play, friends, you know, four different ways you can play online. You can create your own tournaments now uh, where you can create tournaments for your you and your friends or whatever, and it keeps the leaderboard after tournaments over. And you can see you won the leaderboard. And uh, you can obviously join tournaments. Uh, the other thing they have now is what they call Mario Kart TV, where you can like view your 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 highlight clips that you have, or you can download and watch other people's clips, or you can actually take those highlight clips now and upload them to YouTube. So Nintendo's kind of getting with the current stuff. If you're not paying attention. So a lot of new stuff in this Mario Kart uh, 8. Uh, they've updated the whole uh, voice and text chat when you're just sitting waiting to, to join a race. With people all sitting there like you used to in the past, you know, on the globe, just sitting there. Uh, they've done a lot of they've done a lot of updating to this game. Looks really cool. Looks really awesome. So, what do you think about Mario Kart 8? Are you interested in it? Would if you don't have a Wii U, would this game get you to buy a Wii U? I know I would definitely love to play it, and it would definitely. It's kind of tempting me to get a Wii U. It's kind of funny how, uh, just like the 3DS, the Wii U Mario Kart's the tipping point because uh, Mario Kart looks beautiful. It's a lot of fun to play. And so, what do you think about Mario Kart 8? We think about the Wii U. We think about the bundle. In fact, you get a, download, a free downloadable game if you buy the game and uh, register at Club Nintendo. Anyway, guys, like always, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.